Do you want to learn how to remove some carpet pad but we're afraid to ask? Ask no more. Watch this video. Now I'm ready to remove this and most carpet pad is generally stuck down with some glue. They might have taken a, a glue bottle and just ran it back and forth, opened up a quart container and just dribbled it along there and go back and forth like this. They don't usually trowel this down. So you just have to kind of be aware of that as you pull this up to see if it's going to stick anywhere. And if it does stick, hopefully it doesn't rip off the back of this. If it does, you can, you can get underneath there and, you know, kind of, kind of lift on it a little bit. And in some areas it might get stuck a little bit harder than others. I've not ever pulled this carpet pad off, but see what I'm talking about? How they put that on with the glue. They took it and they just ziggied it. Boop, 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 boop. Here's some more over here and all that. You might be wondering about what's underneath this floor. We're not really going to talk about that just yet. If you want to learn all about that, I'll have a video especially on that. Now, if you're going to put carpet back over this, you don't really have any issues about that. But we're going to do something different than that after we get this carpet pad removed. So you might want to keep watching my channel and find out all about that. Okay? Just going to then now go ahead and pull this back a little bit. I want to get all this loose before I even think about rolling it up. Doesn't take long. Just wanting to get it all loose like that. Now I know it's loose. And because, because I cut the masking tape there, it ripped off. It came out nice and clean along there. I could roll this up just like a piece of carpet cap. Now, if you, don't, if you don't cut this line, lots of times it'll rip, and then it rips along that way and back and forth. And pretty soon you've got to mess with that. And you can't roll everything up nice and easily. Okay? So, at this point, I'm going to roll this up. Let's see if you can see all of what I'm doing here. Get this situated back here a little bit. I'll roll it up just like I did the carpet. I want to still try to keep this nice and straight if I can. I'm here by myself doing this, you don't really need a helper. Unless you want to, obviously two people are quicker than one. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to take that against the wall so it doesn't want to unroll itself like that. Okay, and I can go for the next one. You'll be done in a flash. Yeah. You just want to see me see if I can't kick my own butt huh, with doing this. I think you got the, the picture on how to do this, but I think you just want to see me do some more, don't you? Okay, get it up that far. I know it's all loose now. Set that back down. And I'm going to pull this. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to loosen that up. Make sure it's all in stuff first. Okay? Just like that, and I can set this back down. I mean, I could, I could take this whole thing. Let's do this a different way this time, shall we? Let's. I'm going to get this situated. We're going to roll this up slightly different, just to let you know. Is there just one way to do things? Absolutely not. Always oh, two ways to skin a cat, so to speak. No, that's just the same. Okay, I'm going to pull this over, line it up like that. Looks nice and straight. Now I can roll it up. Just make it slightly quicker because I'm only rolling up half, half it now, right? If you've got to do a whole house, let's say, maybe you can save a little bit of time and tell your helper how to do it this way. 
You know, don't just leave it like that because it could unroll, see? So, with it being here, I'm just going to lift it around. I'm going to gently put it here like that. Now it can never roll back on itself, can it? Hey, just something quick. I'm going to have some water here and I'm putting some stuff in it. This is called 40,000 volts electrolyte concentrate and it helps boost stamina, energy, and endurance by replacing depleted electrolytes. Also helps prevent muscle cramps. And because I'm sweating a lot doing the work, I'm going to put a little bit of that in my water, which I already did. I shook this up and just poured just a little bit in there and I'm good to go. Try it.